Coke is a brand where we are always trying to provoke more happiness in the world and do that in ways that are tangible and authentic. The idea of doing that for two groups of people who have been divided for five decades presents to us a challenge and an opportunity that's almost too big to not try to make happen. If great stories were easy to tell, everyone would be telling them. What's been the hardest part of, of this project? Every element of it, from the technology and, and taking technology that didn't actually exist and having to, to go find somebody who could build that technology. We had to come up with a way to have two people in different countries come together and interact in as real as a way as possible. Arguably the most important part of making this experience real was not only being able to see the person in front of you and feeling like you're in the same room, but actually being able to touch them, interact with them, trace a heart, trace a peace sign, do something together simultaneously. I think that's one of the elements that really made this magical. This is a prototype. This is something that's never been done before. If you look through Skype or through the iPhone, iChat, it's always top down. It's like an ATM camera view. We didn't want that. So we moved the camera inside of the machine, shot at eye level through a screen that was holding a projected image and your perspective would be just as if you were standing in front of that person. One of the main challenges was how do we see through a wall? How do we film someone through their own image? Everyone said, oh, that's impossible. But we knew there was a way and the way we thought to do that was 3D. We basically have an HD webcam and a pair of modified active shutter 3D glasses that go over the webcam. So it allows you to shoot straight through the screen as if it wasn't there and we needed a screen that was transparent enough to see through, but opaque enough to hold the image. All of our initial tests, the different screens that we were using, worked. They produced an image, but it was either clear, so it revealed the components inside, or um, the image was not bright enough. So this screen, it was a major breakthrough for us because it really made you feel like you were interacting with someone else. When you're doing an experience like this, where people have to connect, you need a certain amount of bandwidth. Now, going to India or Pakistan, that's not only not guaranteed, it's almost impossible to obtain. So we had to compress the video in a way that it wouldn't affect the user experience. One of the challenges was to make an interface that didn't intimidate people and make an experience that was inviting, making sure that the person in front of the machine knows what to do when they get up to it and that it's just a natural, seamless experience. Not only do we have to overcome barriers on the technology side, we have to overcome barriers on the location side. So cell phones not working, rolling blackouts happening. And big protests that are happening. And then between the two countries, there's been violations of a ceasefire. Adds another sort of interesting level to how careful we have to be in our preparation for this. I think the future of where this technology could go is really exciting. Bringing people together through happiness is probably one of the most positive messages that you can put out there. And again, the technology was just the vehicle that made that magical experience happen.